In this tutorial, I will tell you how to mod Balloon City 6 in a few simple steps. By the way, this only works in the Steam version of the game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click the first link in the description and it will take you to this website. Now you need to install this and it says .NET 6.0 and now install the mod helper and melon loader. Now we need to get to the Balloon City 6 files, so what you want to do is right click on Balloon City 6, Manage, and Browse Local Files. It will take you to this screen here and now click back onto Common and now it will show you all your Steam games. Next, you want to right click on the Balloon City 6 folder and press copy, and then you're going to want to paste it here. Now, there's a new folder that says Balloon City 6 copy, and if you want to, you can rename it to say Balloon City 6 modded. Now, you can enter into this folder right here. Make sure to keep this window open and then switch over to your downloads folder. In your downloads folder, you should see your Melon Loader file and your BTD6 mod helper. First, click on Melon Loader and it will take you to this window. So now what you can do is drag your cursor over these files and then press the copy button and then go back to your Balloon City 6 modded folder and then paste them here. So as you can see, all of the four files are pasted here and now you need to open Balloon City 6. Once you're in the game, you can just close out of it and now you should see new folders here in the Balloon City 6 modded file. So you need to open the mods folder right here and then go back to your downloads folder and now copy and paste the BT6 mod helper DLL into the file. Now that it's in here, you can go back and this is an optional thing that you can do. So you can click on Balloon City 6, show more options, and then create desktop shortcut. So now you have a shortcut here. With that shortcut, you can drag it onto your desktop and rename it so that you can easily open the game with mods on. So you can once again open the game. So now in the game, you should see the mods icon in the bottom right corner. So you want to click on that. And now you can browse through all the mods you want. So let's say I want to get infinite heroes. So as you can see, I found the unlimited heroes mod and you can just press the download button right here. Download it. And now if I restart the game, as you can see, it installed the unlimited heroes mod for me. And now I can play with it. With this method, you don't have to worry about reinstalling and uninstalling the mods every time you want to play because they're saved separately from the regular game. So if I want to play without mods, I can just launch the game regularly through this one. And if I want to play with mods, I can use this one. If you found this tutorial helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. See ya.